Hello my people, well, it seems that Meghan Markle is mocking, making fun of, call it what you want, of Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales. And it seems that that photo, no, that fake, retouched, manipulated photo, well, has made Meghan Markle laugh. Let's see exactly what happened, but not before reminding you to smash the little subscription button, the likes, and the bell so that you get the notifications of both the videos and the live streams. Let's start. Well, let's go with Kate Middleton as I was telling you, but especially with that Meghan Markle who would have commented something, would have done something on social networks. I don't know exactly because I'm reading it with you at the same time to react at some point. Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton were, were something more than just sisters-in-law, they were friends, it seemed that there was a good feeling, good vibes. Look, even in this photograph, the two are dressed the same, with a white shirt, quite prepared to take a photograph with jeans, both of them. And the truth is that it seemed that there was a good vibe, I mean, behind the images that we see many times of protocol that there is in certain royalty in general, British, Spanish, Danish house and such, it is true that here we have seen that at some point there was something more than just simple political relatives, not as sister-in-law or with sister-in-law but in this case. It seems that there used to be a certain trust between them that has been lost today. According to Blau, Meghan Markle is mocking the photo of Kate Middleton. The British royalty is reeling from the storm of criticism unleashed by the photographic deception of Kate Middleton. The British House is currently facing a serious image crisis that has shaken its foundations. The recent scandal related to the digital manipulation of Kate Middleton's photograph has provoked a wave of criticism and doubts about the transparency and integrity of the monarchical institution. However, in the midst of this public drama, Meghan Markle's stance stands out, who seems to find some pleasure in the situation that is unfolding in the royal family. Is there a credibility crisis in British royalty? Well, let's see exactly why. I believe that in the end, the credibility of the British Crown is plummeting as long as they are not reporting properly. They have tried to deceive with that photograph. Even though Kate may have tried to do it, I don't believe it, I think that was written by the manager, not her. In the end, it is clear that the British Royal House is accused of not everything that is published. I believe that everything that is published first has to go through a filter and that filter, I believe, if it has passed like this with that manipulation, it is for something and surely, I mean. It did not come out of Kate in plan I, I'm going, no, 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 it's that Kate Middleton was not sitting in that chair, at least to my understanding. Well, the controversy around Kate Middleton has triggered an intense debate about credibility and honesty within British royalty. Distinguished experts and journalists highlight the imperative need for transparency to maintain public support and safeguard the reputation of the monarchy. Richard Kay, a renowned journalist specialized in the intricacies of the royal house, warns about the dangers of undermining the trust of the British public. Trust and integrity are precious, the public adores royalty but, eh, that adoration is based on being told the truth, he affirmed, eh, that the truth is told. He signed in an interview for the Daily Mail, one of the most well-known and reputable in the United Kingdom. Meanwhile, from a distance, Prince Harry and Meghan, here we go a bit to the nougat, are witnesses to the tumult that surrounds the Windsors. A source close to the Dukes of Sussex highlights the disparities in the way the media approach both royal couples, underlining Meghan's skill in navigating delicate situations. And I believe that right now, Harry and Meghan are rubbing their hands together. No, if Harry and Meghan had ever faced this kind of problem, they would have been massacred. The same rules do not apply to both couples. 
I also want to clarify something, at least from my point of view, if Harry and Meghan had been massacred for this, it is because Harry and Meghan have a past that is very different. I'm not referring to Meghan having a past, I don't know, but Harry's, yes. It is true that with what he has stirred up and obviously it is not the same that you to a person who does not stop messing up, messes up a big one, than a person who has never messed up. Messes up once and obviously, well, has a prestige, a cash, a name, eh, uh, that person who, well, an error but of course in Harry, of course. He would have been massacred because it would not be the first, it would be the eighteenth time that he messes up, so of course, that's how it is. If we had always known Kate Middleton as a controversial girl, this would have been a massacre, a massacre against her, but since it is the first time that she, well, makes a mistake, of which, well. Some people attribute it to her because she signed with Kate's faith, the apologies as if she had edited, I believe that it was not her, in the end. But well, we will find out, well, this is an error that Meghan would never commit. It seems that she has a good eye for these things and a great attention to detail, indicated source P6. Well, we wouldn't know in the end, we don't know if Meghan Markle would have edited the photo, this is absurd, it's that she also seemed meticulous to Middleton and made a glaring error, in the end. Meghan could have committed it too. Well, the controversy has been exacerbated by the doubt about the authenticity of the recent photographs of Kate Middleton with Prince William in a car. Which has generated unease and confusion in British society. In addition to questioning the veracity of the images, it has called into question the lack of official information about the health status and whereabouts of the Princess of Wales. In response, Middleton or her communications team on her behalf, which I would put in parentheses and is what I would say, I would remove Middleton and say directly in response. The communications team on her behalf admitted to having edited the photograph, apologizing for any confusion that may have caused or that has evidently caused. Well, let's see, anyone can make a mistake, it's no big deal, but it is true that people are not upset in the UK because a photo has been edited, people are upset because since December 25th, Christmas Day, she has not been seen, because she has entered the hospital, has remained, has left, has been in Adelaide Koch, has gone to Sring, which is where she is currently in theory. And she has not been seen, obviously people are upset because there are people who want to know, but not in gossip mode, in plan is that I want to know because yes. They want to know because she is their future queen, they have a lot of affection, a lot of appreciation and I understand that there is somehow a bit of unease in knowing what is happening to her. Well, the blatant mockery of Meghan Markle, let's go here a bit to the nougat as I was saying, in the midst of this crisis. Meghan Markle seems to be enjoying the painful moment that her sister-in-law is living, going so far as to mock the situation. For her, the media exposure of Kate Middleton can be interpreted as a kind of karma, reflecting the excessive attention that she herself experienced in the past. Despite the tension and lack of communication between the Sussexes and the Windsors, Prince Harry has expressed his concern for the health of his sister-in-law and that of King Charles III. It's true that he saw King Charles III and that he might be worried about his sister-in-law, perhaps encompassing his family, but we really don't know if he has been in contact with her privately. However, the distance between both parties is becoming more and more evident, revealing internal tensions and differences in approach to the challenges facing the British monarchy. Well, this would be all. In the end, the fact that Meghan and she do not have a good relationship, well, it makes her rub her hands and say, well, now you are going to suffer what I also suffered at the time. Or at least that's Meghan's interpretation, that she lived a Calvary and that from the royal house, including Kate Middleton, they looked the other way. While there were digital media that were criticizing her to overshadow and make Kate become more popular than Meghan. 
There has always been a rivalry there in recent years since that discussion in 2018. Well, in short, this is what I can tell you, my people, see you in the next video. What do you think about Meghan mocking Kate Middleton in some way or being happy about the evil? See you in the next video with more information, greetings.